guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Erin. I'm Melissa. And we are Two Sisters Artistry. Welcome back. We're going to do a little makeup brush 101 for you guys. So we'll just go over some of the basics, what you should have if you're a beginner or an expert, our favorite brushes. So keep on watching. Alright. Alright, so I want to start with the face brushes, foundation, powder, all that. Sorry mm -hmm. I took notes just so I wouldn't forget anything. So my favorite, holy grail really kind of jacked up foundation brush mine, right sorry. now, um, <laughs> is the Morphe Y6, oh here's mine right here, Morphe Y6, we've got we two of them, one. it's really dense, um, this is $10, you can also get it in the gilded set, but it's mm -hmm. soft, good for stippling your foundation or just buffing it in this way, it's a really, really, really beautiful foundation brush, or you can use the Morphe M439, that is $14, a good, which is what I have solid dense again it's more round on the top yeah though, um, but really good for buffing out foundation um, but very thick very dense which is needed for foundation yes. i feel yes um onto powder brushes i think you have those um my powder brush that i use like non-stop is actually an eco tools you get it from like walgreens walmart super cheap um this is the full powder eco tools it's got a dome top um, but it's just a large brush it's soft. to help. Oh, yeah. It's so soft. Uh, but I would use this um, to dust away your powder, to apply the powder, whatever you need it for. And I use the uh, Morphe Y4, which is this like tapered, soft kind of powder brush. I use this for my setting powder. Um, I can also I also use a similar one for my contour. Mm -hmm. This one is fourteen dollars by itself. Again, comes in the gilded set. Um, just something to like quickly right, 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 set the face, mm -hmm. be done with it. Another excellent Morphe brush. Actually, these are mostly Morphe brushes. So if yep. you don't like Morphe, then don't watch. Don't watch. Um, then I use a similar brush for my uh, contour. Um, yeah. This is from the Complexion Goals set. It doesn't have a name, but it's very similar to mm -hmm. the one she has. Um, but again, it is a dense, wide set, a little bit shorter. Um, than my powder brush, mm -hmm. um, but also a little bit more dense than my powder brush. You can also use like a kabuki, um, ooh, hey, Hi, powder. flat brush to carve, um, but that's up to you. Um, I also really love the Y4 for contour bronzer. I've been really trying to use like big brushes for bronzing and then a smaller one to cut and contour like she just said. Mm -hmm. So this one is really fluffy, really soft, and I like that it's taper this way because then I can just get product on the sides oh. there and really just kind of focus it in and it doesn't go like all over my cheek or anything right. like that so just a little bit um, bigger or smaller I don't know they're pretty similar in size to the Y4 and this one is let me see this one is $13 although the M5 also also the M527 is a really really mm -hmm. really nice contour brush it's $16 as well yeah. and we'll list all of these at the end so you don't have to write it all down with the pen. I got you. <laughs> um, and then for like nose contour, I actually use the Morphe M173. It is a very short, oh, very yeah. dense brush yeah, um, to take down the side of my nose. Uh, I love this one. I wish I remembered what this one was, but it's also Morphe from the Gilded set, but it's pretty similar to that one, just longer mm -hmm. bristles and a little bit fatter. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's really good for getting down the sides of the nose. I'm not really a fan of using like super tiny brushes on my contour just because I feel like it looks like a line. Uh huh. That's just me personally. Yeah, it's easier to I bake it, it away. Out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. What's next? We have highlighting brushes. Yay! Yes. My favorite. So for highlighting brushes, again, this is from the Complexion Goals. Um, it is a very tall, um, fluffy brush. Right. Um, not as dense, but I typically just run it across the side, um, not typically on top. Yeah. Just down the side. Yeah. Know. Hi, you can see the Lila Hi, Geo. right. <laughs> um, I am a fan of the Morphe Y14. This one is again tapered towards the top, but a lot smaller than those ones. So I just focus the product on the sides of the tapered portion and then just run it down my mm -hmm. cheekbone. This one is $13, $13. Yep. It comes in the gilded set. A lot of these are from the gilded set. Also, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I believe it's the number 23. Yeah. The, yeah, number 23 brush is $25. Mm -hmm. That one's a beautiful highlighting brush, but it is not as quite as soft as this one, yeah. I don't feel like. The one that I was using for a while was the M501. It's very similar to the one that she uses, um, smaller than the one I'm currently using. 
this one I had issues with it um, flaking and peeling, but this is my second or third one, so right. I, I, I still use it. I like it a lot anyway. Um, moving on to concealer brushes. Okay. My concealer brush that I use is the Crown. It's a Crown brush, Crown Oval Concealer. Um, it has a number, C22, I think, uh, but I got this in like a set. set or something. It came in like a play yeah. bag or something. Um, but I really, I really like this one. It's a the little shape. bit longer, but it's got a really good oval shape that works really well. Same. And I actually use this um, Urban Decay one. It's not a Morphe one. Uh, I really, really, really like the shape on this one for cut crease for applying concealer because I can turn it sideways and get my nose. I can put the product under my eyes really pretty. Um, so this is like a multitasking brush for, brush for me, but I feel like uh -huh. you can use any kind of thin rounded brush for concealer yep. if you like the way it feels if it's rounded and it's thin it's gonna work for your concealer yep. just fine i think it's from urban decay if you buy someone i think it's 24 dollars yeah um, but you don't need a 24 dollars brush yeah. by any means yeah um for blush i use the luxie 504 large angled brush i think she goes in with an angled brush as well yep. um it's easy to sweep backwards um love this brush in general i mean it's yeah. a typical blush brush blush brush i hate those words um, blush time. brush um i use the morphe y4 also the morphe e4 is a phenomenal brush any type of angled blush brush you can use mm -hmm. um it's kind of angled this way as well so you can just kind of like get it right on the apples and then a little bit thinner as it goes up um yep. and also just for like kind of blending it down into the contour as well okay. so any type of angled brush will do all right, two eyeballs. Two eyeballs, yes. Eyeballs, not eyeballs. Eye brushes. Um, so I think for as far as fluffy, tapered blending brushes, number one go-to is the Morphe M441. Same. I have two or three of these, um, just because I'm always using like different colors. Um, so they're all that large, long, yeah. tapered blending brush. Uh, can't go wrong with that. Yeah, and these are both the same kind of thing. Like any type of brush you find that's like got a nice taper and it's fluffy, it's not mm -hmm. super dense or anything like that. Sorry, this is orange from earlier candy makeup. <laughs> from our candy corn fantasy. Um, yeah, any type of brush like this, whether it's Morphe or BH Cosmetics mm -hmm. or even a Walmart or an Elf brush, whatever. Just right. make sure you feel it. If it's soft, if it's not super dense, if it's fluffy, it'll get the job done. Just any kind of blending brush, but I, you do need a large one. I typically um, prefer a real hair brush over the synthetic as far as that goes, but yeah. it doesn't really matter. A large one, though. It's mm -hmm. kind of like you want like a large, medium, small, and right. that'll complete your eye look. So exactly. moving on to those medium brushes, I'm going to use the, or I use the Y19 or the Y16. They're very similar, but this one isn't tapered like the other one. It's a little bit flatter at the top, uh -huh. um, and it's not quite as fluffy, not quite as big. So this is whenever they say, like, I'm going to take it a little bit lower than my crease. So this one's not going to get, like, all up in the eyeshadow that you just put on. Right. It'll just go right where you need it to, but still blend yes. at the same time. Yes. Um, and then for my smaller brush, I use the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending. Really, I just dip this in my dark colors and do it, like, on my outer corners. Yeah. Um, so. Um, pencil brushes. Where did I put my pencil brush? Speaking of this one. A uh, pencil brush is just something that's, like, a little bit smaller, a little bit denser. It's more for detailed mm -hmm. crease eyeshadows or underneath the um, eyelid. I'm going to use, or I use the Y22 for Morphe. This one is, again, really soft, very similar to this one that she has here, but a pencil brush is kind of a necessity because it's how you get those really pretty, like, detailed, mm -hmm. like, cut crease moments or to get, like, yep. a really nice blend underneath your eyes. I don't know what she's using. But. Mine is a MAC uh, 219S. Um, I got it in a set a long time ago, but I really like it. And then, uh, lastly, angled brushes. Yes. You need these are a necessity as well. Yep. Mine is literally the must-have angled liner eyeliner <laughs> um, brush, number 90 from Sephora. Yeah. Um, love this one, and I also really like um, this one from, nope, that's the wrong one. From Anastasia? From Anastasia, yes, that one's incredible. Uh, the Morphe M215, it's a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. um, shorter, everything about it is smaller. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. I like the Anastasia, what number is this, number 12? Um, 
she's a little beat up because I've had yes. this one for years because it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, this one has like longer bristles. This one's great for brows for me personally. Or if I really wanted to, I could take this into like a gel liner or something. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. thing with this one, the Morphe Y23. This one is 18 No, this is $4. This is $18. Um, so, yeah, these are really good for gel liner, for like a little flick of eyeshadow, mm -hmm. for eyebrows. These are multitasking. You don't have to have an eyebrow pencil and a gel pencil for your liner. Mm -hmm. You can just clean them off, wipe them off, use them right. again. Yep. Um, if you guys want a couple of recommendations for something that could give you this like complete brush collection for my favorite is I slay and complexion goals yeah. it comes with like five or six um face brushes which a lot of the ones I talked about are from Clark are from those it. um they don't really have names as far as like the brushes themselves um but you get like five or six brushes in each set they're about 25 dollars each yeah the complexion yeah. goals is 25 and the I slay is 18. 18 so super cheap super worth it um, you can get them from Ulta, and I definitely recommend them. Yeah, they're they're actually pretty great. I got the Ice Lake for my birthday last year. And then the uh, Gilded Set. I'm sorry, I'm such a Gilded Set whore, but, yeah. like, it's my favorite brush set because it has every single brush you could possibly ever need, and then some, and then some. pencil brushes, yeah. detail brushes, every kind of face brush, blending, whatever. It's got everything. That one is $159, I think, retail, but, of course, you can use a beauty guru's code like James or Jack Attack or Manny, whatever, and get 10% uh -huh. off. And of course, they always have sales. So like during Christmas time, Black exactly. Friday, sometimes we get 20% off, 15% off, 10% off. So that 159 quickly can turn into, you know, a smaller number. Yep. So we're talking but about you total... get quite a few brushes. Yeah, I think it has uh, 18 brushes 18. in it. I could be wrong mm -hmm. about that. I think it's 18. But you have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 brushes that you need for like a complete full face full face you don't have to have I mean I only have so many brushes because I collect them well and I've I have some older ones that I've yeah. just never got rid of that yeah. I just kept um but hopefully this video is helpful hopefully you um found some brushes that you can use um some tips and tricks on how to pick out a brush some you know sets that we love um yes we love Morphe but they're really good brushes they're and amazing. they last and they're Price, I mean, the price point is great. Yeah, so. it, it really doesn't get much better for the mm -hmm. quality, I feel. Like, mm -hmm. there's even some Sephora brushes that I'm like, ooh, more yep. ones better. Yep. So. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so we'll list them all below again. Don't be like, oh my God, they went so fast for all those brushes. <laughs> We're going to list them free below, but we wanted you to hear our opinions on them yes. and why we like them, and maybe that's helpful to you if you're not super exactly. familiar with how a brush works or how... Um, how to pick one. How to pick them. Which, right. Gotta know exactly. how to choose them. <laughs> uh, but we hope you guys enjoy this video. Give us a thumbs up if you do like it. Make sure you hit it below. Um, make sure you hit that little bell for notifications for when we do have new videos. Yep. We try to put them up every week for you guys. Subscribe, share, comment. comment on what you want to see next. Yes. And we'll see you in our next one. Bye. Bye. All right. Okay, let's Last do one. a picture. Oh. We have so many brushes. Ready? What kind of face are you doing? A serious one? This okay. One. Okay. Right. Done. Alright. One more. Let's see how much time we have left. Oh, perfect.